What's going on you guys? Welcome to another awesome video where I'll be using SolidWorks and 3D printing to create awesome things like these. These are my own kind of little quick concept design of a Batarang from Batman. Um, and there were two techniques used to finish this. One was 3D printed and hand painted and the other one was 3D printed and cast out of silicone and resin. Two very different ways of finishing 3D prints at a very high quality and I'm going to be showing you how to do both. This is going to be a two-part series. First one where I'm going to be showing you how I made the 3D model and how I painted and finished the 3D printed version. The second part will be how I 3D printed the master for this and how I finished it and then how I used silicone, resin and aluminium powder to create the final model. So let's get started with part one of this video. So to start off we open up SolidWorks I create a basic sketch of the shape that I'm looking for. I then use a couple of dimensions to refine that shape and get it fully defined to what I want. I then mirror it across to create the full shape. Then extrude that out. And I start to add the lines which I'm going to use for reference to create the groove. I'm using the thin feature. This created then the grooves. And I needed it and mirrored it over that same plane. I wasn't 100% sure, happy with the, the shape, so I then added a bit more material just to refine it a bit better. I then split it in half because I wanted it a little bit thinner, added a chamfer around, and I then mirrored it around itself and merged it together. That was making it. I then split it in half again down the side, started to create a little groove where I can have a little plug to glue it together and make it a lot easier. And that was the model. When printing it, all I had to do was duplicate print the same side twice, as well as the, the key in the middle. And it was a very simple print because of all the angles, needed no support. It's printed in a gray rigid ink material, PLA on an Ultimaker 2. Once those were printed, I used a bit of super glue, put it on the key and then glued them all together. I then used some tissue paper just to wipe away any excess glue. I used a bit of a quick dry filler to fill in the little gap that I had there. I then used the nail to scrape it out of the grooves. I then began to start sanding it, get rid of the excess filler and just to prepare it for its first coat of paint. I used a spray filler primer on this that has a higher build so smooths off quite nicely. I then gave that a sand. Once I got the surface down to a nice smooth surface, I then gave it a second coat with the same primer. Once that was dry, I went to sanding it again. Doing this process essentially gets the paint sits in all the deep grooves and you sand it off really smooth and make it an even layer. As you can see, I left it really, really smooth. It's a bit of the gray material sticking out, but that's okay. Because from here, I'll take this into paint. I used a silver spray paint to create the silver metal look on it. Once that dried up, I then did a dirty wash with a bit of black paint, just to highlight the grooves a little bit and give it more of a worn look. You can add a bit more browns and greens and various other mixes to give it a lot more depth, but this is a very, very basic technique I've used. The 
point of this is to cover with a bunch of, with a whole lot of paint and then wipe it away. As you can see it's stuck in the grooves really nicely and gave it a nice kind of scratched brushed look to it. So I really hope you enjoyed that and I hope you learned a lot on how to finish props very well with paint and sand and paint and sand and paint and sand. It's a very long process but if you stick to it you can get very high quality looking 3D prints. In the next part I'll be showing you how I use silicone, resin and aluminium powder to make a resin cast of one of the 3D prints that I made. If you have any questions about it, about this, please leave them down in the comment section below and please like the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.